Scorpio. Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you're new to my channel, I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Wow. The first message we have is, I knew instantly. Hmm. Wow, I just got higher self. Okay, so this message I'm getting is going to be very, very specific. This is for a divine feminine who is looking for some type of confirmation from your masculine here, but you're not getting it. Okay, and I feel like your masculine may definitely be either stuck in their ego, okay, they may be intentionally pulling back their energy right now just because they don't have the tools to articulate what it is that they're feeling, but whoever this message is for, your person's higher self is coming through here, letting you know what it is that your masculine is kind of feeling at this time, okay? So I'm getting this is very specific. This may not resonate with everyone. Okay, but we have I knew instantly. This divine masculine is coming through saying that upon coming in contact with you, they knew who you were. For some of them, they knew who you were before you knew who they were. They felt this spark, they felt this energy, they felt this emotion that lit their entire soul on fire. Okay. I'm also getting eyes are the window to the soul. For some of you, from the moment they looked into your eyes, they knew exactly who you were. But you didn't know this, okay? And the reason you didn't know this is because your person was very, very intentional about the progression of this connection. For some of them, they allowed their egos to take the front seat in their heart space, in their soul to take the back seat. But it's almost as if their higher self is coming through letting you know they knew instantly who you were. Something about your energy, something about your essence really pulled on your person. I'm getting as soon as you came in contact with them, your souls knew each other, even though you had just met. Very powerful connection that I'm tapping into here right now, okay? So like I said, this is very, very specific, okay? I'm also getting this energy of like a breath of fresh air. So maybe this is something your person was holding on to here. Um, but I'm definitely getting that this connection here, this divine masculine knew who you were before you know, you probably even knew who they were. They could have been watching you. They could have been something here happened where your person knew instantly upon coming into your presence. But I'm getting that this was an uncomfortable feeling. This was foreign territory for them. This was something they had never felt before. Maybe they didn't even know how to identify what this was. But your masculine at this time, their higher self is coming through saying, you may be at this place where you're feeling as if you are confused, um, you're trying to place these emotions, but you have no idea because I felt this immediately upon coming in contact with you. I just didn't know how to navigate these emotions in this internal process. Wow. Okay. This energy is very intense today, okay? Let's get the next message here. We have, do you know how hard this is for me? Yeah. I'm getting that your person is at this process, okay? Where they're realizing that they're not only a body, but they're also a soul. They may be going through a heavy integration process because really I'm kind of picking up here because it's like this back and forth kind of energy. It's like your person's higher self is coming through saying, I knew instantly, but their ego is like, do you know how hard this is for me to feel this way? For me to navigate this connection? 
for me to open my heart space in this way that feels foreign to me here, okay? Your person may be going through a very, very tough emotional process as it pertains to you right now, but I'm getting that their higher self wants to communicate to you what they're going through or how it is that they really feel because I'm picking up on a divine feminine where you're at this place in your life. You're kind of at this crossroads and you feel as if you want to experience this love, this higher love, this higher octave of love here, this otherworldly love that you have with your person. It's like you've activated something and you cannot find it anywhere else, okay? But your person is probably moving slower than you would like them to move. You know that they feel exactly how it is that you feel. Maybe there are barriers in your connection here right now, but I'm getting that your person is having a hard time integrating their soul with their ego, okay? They may be going through a very, very tough integration process right now. Um, I'm also getting that your person may be beginning to see a lot of things clearly. They could be paying attention to a lot of important signs that they're seeing, a lot of things that they have ignored in the past as it pertains to this connection here. But they're definitely going through some type of, of some type of tough time, okay, as it pertains to where you are currently on your journey. I'm definitely getting this push and pull energy though. It's almost like their higher self and their ego. Wow, very powerful energy coming through here today. Let's get the next message. Wow. We have, I risk it all for you. Mm -hmm. For some of you divine feminines, um, I don't think you have an idea of just how much this journey has opened another facet of your person. Okay, and it's almost as if they want you to know, I just keep getting their higher self. They want you to know that they did this only for you. The version of them that you got, the level of intimacy that you got, that is only for you. They haven't shared themselves in that way with anyone else. They want you to know that just by them tapping into this other facet of themselves here, by them removing these layers, um, there's a clear separation from you and how they handle you and how they love you compared to anyone else that they have ever encountered within their lives, within their own personal romantic journeys or anything here. It, it was a risk for them to kind of follow their hearts, okay? It's almost as if they have a blindfold on trying to like navigate throughout the darkness, but their soul is literally pulling them towards you. Some of them don't even understand it, okay? But for a lot of specifically what I'm getting for this reading here, this divine masculine knew who you were from the very, very beginning, okay? Literally upon coming in contact with you. They didn't have all the questions. They didn't understand how. They didn't understand. They just knew that you created some type of feeling, okay? You made them feel something that they had never felt before. And this separated you from the very, very beginning. But there are so many barriers that your person had to climb through. And it's almost as if their higher self wants you to know this. Okay. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, I'm not sure what's ahead of us. Okay. So now, um, let me go back to the divine feminine here. I'm definitely feeling that you're, you're at a place in your life where, where there's some type of deciding factor here, 
And it's almost as if you're waiting for more information from your person. You're waiting for more clarity, okay? Um, you're looking and you're paying attention to a lot of signs here. Your person, I definitely feel like this, this message right here is coming from your person's ego. It's almost as if this is a 5D versus a 3D right here. It's almost as if your person's soul is coming through saying, I know exactly who you are. I risked it all for you. You know, I loved you. I wanted to spend my life with you. I knew that you were my person. I knew that you were created just for me. And their ego, the 3D version of them is saying, well, do you know how hard this is going to be? I'm not sure what's ahead of us. I'm not sure how we're going to navigate this situation. How are we going to merge our lives together? There's like so many questions. I'm definitely getting that this is a very serious battle between your person's head and their heart. Okay. Everything has already been confirmed for them. That's not a question. They have always known that it was you. They know that you are their person, but it's almost as if they're, they're trying to make sense of it. It's almost as if their ego is questioning their soul. Saying, well, do you know how hard it's gonna to be to bring this together? Okay, maybe I'm not as spiritually inclined. Maybe I have a lot of growing to do. Maybe I have physical or emotional barriers that stand in between me and my person here. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out over time here. But it's almost as if like they're sure. They were sure about you from the very beginning though. That's what I'm getting. Definitely getting that. Um, yeah. Your person is asking a lot of questions. They're becoming aware that they are way more than a body. Their soul is craving to be fed. Their soul is craving to be nurtured at this time. And it's almost as if their ego is pushing back, okay? So if you were wondering how, you know, how your person was processing at this time, what is the holdup? Because I definitely get the divine feminine energy feeling as if there's something acting as a barrier and you feel like it is your person you feel like it's them standing in between, you know, the progression of your connection. And it is, it's their ego. It's an internal battle between their head and their heart, okay? It's almost as if your person is thinking about what the easy thing to do is versus what the, the hard thing or the right thing to do is. Do they wanna take the easy way out or do they wanna take a risk for love? Okay, let's go to the next message here. Wow, we have, I'm seeing signs everywhere. Yeah, this is, this message here, um, I'm getting that whoever this message is for, if it's resonating so far, you have a very, very powerful connection. Okay, um, it's almost as if the universe is doing everything in its power to align you both. I feel like Divine Feminine, you get to this point where you're ready to move on. Maybe you're in separation. Maybe there has been no contact. And you get to this point where, where you go within, you heal, and you say, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and move towards new love. I'm going to be open. And you get a sign from the universe that puts you right back into this loop with your divine masculine. They're in the same energy. They see the signs everywhere. They've been seeing them from the moment you cross paths here. It's undeniable, okay? But it seems like although your person knows exactly who you are, although the universe is pointing them in your direction, their soul is literally pulling them towards what it really wants, okay? That's tough for your person because your person is used to using their head for everything. But now their heart is, is taking the front seat, wanting to lead them directly to you, directly to what 
their soul knows is for them. So it seems as if the challenge that your person is having right now is facing this integration process where they learn how to blend their heart space in their mind, okay? This 5D and this 3D. There's definitely a very, 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 very strong integration process happening right now with your person. This may be very uncomfortable for them. Let's get the last message here. Wow. We have my access to you is being restricted. Wow. So if you're wondering why you haven't heard from your person, if you're wondering what it is that they have going on, why you're in this separation, why you're in no contact, I'm strongly getting this is like your person's soul, okay, versus their ego. And it's almost as if their soul is restricting them from having access to you, to coming towards you until they work out this integration process. I'm feeling like this, this has been a challenge within your connection. You've been asking yourself, what is it? You know, why are we not moving forward? Why are we not progressing? You know, I've had these intimate talks with my person. I know exactly how they feel. I know how they look at me. You know, I know how they love me. I can feel the energy when I'm in their presence. What is it that's happening here? They're going through this internal battle between their head and their heart. And it's almost as if they're being restricted from coming towards you at this time until they learn how to properly integrate these emotions, integrate you know, their feelings, their thoughts, their intentions. Because I feel like they have come towards you in the past and because they haven't gone through this, their ego will create a blockage, will create some type of delay, some type of separation between you moving forward within this connection here. I'm definitely getting that if this message resonated with you, this is your person's higher self coming through, letting you know what it is they're processing at this time. I definitely feel Divine Feminine. Um, you're at this place where you're waiting for some type of confirmation, even some type of sign from the universe for some of you to move on, to just, you know, hold space for your person. You, it's almost as if you're at this place where you're, you're asking what it is your person needs from you, what it is that you need to do in this moment in order to help your person along this journey here, okay? And I'm just getting that you just need to send them love and light from a distance here. Your person is going through a major, major integration process, but it's almost as if their higher self wants to come through and let you know like, don't doubt how they feel about you. For some of these masculines, they identified you as their divine feminine before you identified them as your divine masculine. That's how powerful this connection is that I'm, that I'm picking up this energy for. That's how powerful this is. I definitely feel like this reading will act as some type of confirmation because for the divine feminine that this is for, you know this, okay? You know that your person loves you. You don't have any doubt about it, okay? You know that there may be some type of emotional barrier, some type of physical barrier here, but it's almost as if their higher self wants to come and affirm you in some kind of way because maybe you're at this point where you may be feeling extremely tired you may have a lot of questions. You may be beginning to doubt your person. I'm getting you have a lot of respect and a lot of love for them, okay? But their actions, the way that they're currently navigating, you know, it's really causing a strain on how you feel and how you, how you view them a little bit here, okay? So yeah, your person is going through this internal process 
trying to really merge their head and their heart before they come towards you and cause any more blockages, any more delays, okay? Your person loves you. Your person knows exactly who you are here, okay? Um, their soul knows you, okay? Very, very powerful energy coming through today. So if this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.